Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. And Joy Nightingale. And today we have landed right here in the town of Cheshire, Connecticut. And when you think of Cheshire, you might think of Alice in Wonderland. Cheshire Cat. Yeah. But also when you think of Alice in Wonderland, you think that she took a bite of like a little piece of cake and it made her grow to giant sizes. And you know what? That has to do with what we're filming today. We're actually going to share with you the roadside giants of Connecticut. And we actually have one standing right behind us right now. So we're going to share them with you. So step right up. Let's go for this ride. There we have our first roadside giant. That's right. A muffler man. He looks like the Bunyan style with the big beard and manly. Now, if you don't know about muffler men, they are one of my favorite things. Me and Joy have been driving this country looking for all of them. The first one I ever seen was a Gemini giant out on Route 66 in Illinois. And I've been trying to see as many as we can wherever we can. So we're at a complex called Extreme Air Indoor Trampoline Park in House of Doors. And this guy stands in front holding their American flag. Now, you might be saying, why were they called muffler men? Well, if you see the way the hands were positioned, they used to actually hold big mufflers and stand in front of auto body repair shops to say, come on in, get your muffler fixed here. So whenever we have a chance to see these things, I stop, we admire, big pieces of fiberglass Americana. Ooh, ah. It was like, like we always say, we're always in adventure with oddities and kitsch. And finding this guy definitely fits in. He's A-OK -okay in our book. But let's see what else Connecticut has in store for us today. Sadly, next to this building, House of Doors, to the right, there used to be another muffler man. We got to see him way back in 2000, and I want to say 13 or 14. I would say he was sleeping. He was just not standing up to the right of this building. And we walked back there and sadly he's gone. I have to trace down where they sold him to or where he went. Because there's not that many muffler men. You got to keep track of these guys. But at least the guy standing in front is still there. Yep. Do you see the size of it? That thing is huge. It's funny. We were just driving and Joy's like, could I have some coffee, Joe? And we found a Barnes & Noble that had a little Starbucks. And we're like, yeah, let's get some coffee. And we pull into the parking lot and we find this guy. He is perfect. We're driving around showing you roadside giants here in Connecticut. And this Easter Island head definitely fits in. I'm saying he's an Easter Island head. Easter Island head inspired. I don't know why he's here next to this building that has clock faces on it. But he definitely is a roadside giant. And he's pretty cool in my book. So we had to share him with you all. Massive. Awesome. Good find. It's a lot of things we plan out. I have no exactly where we're going. But once in a while, one of these things, that's a big roadside attraction, just hidden in the back of a parking lot, you, you stumble across them. And this one is a good thing to stumble across. We made our way to Brookfield, Connecticut, and we found a guy who always has a larger than life persona, but now he himself is larger than life. We found Santa Claus! You can see where this fiberglass was shipped, that his, where his arms attach. And he was holding something somewhere. But we found Santa Claus. How do you get on the nice list, Santa Claus? To get on my nice list, you should subscribe to Joe and Joy Have Landed. Is that so? Ho, 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 and don't forget to leave a comment and like this video. That way you'll always get nice presents from me. Really appreciate that. And even though it's not a larger than life figure at the same property as Santa Claus here, they actually have this beautiful rock where you can see there's, looks like a soldier painted, but also the way this eagle is coming up and the rock forms the eagle with the flag. Figured something worth sharing with you all. It's a really nice painting. And it's new, Roy Cutting's 2019. Lots of cool stuff to check out, like this little car. Oh, and it's actually for sale. If anyone wants this little car, you could buy it from Santa Claus. I like the granite heart sitting on top of this. It looks like an old plow or something. And 
our last roadside giant. Good old Uncle Sam. And he is a big one. Now I've seen this Uncle Sam a while ago, you see. Right now we're in Danbury, Connecticut. But he hasn't always lived in Danbury, Connecticut. In fact, he was started in the 1960s in Ohio. There was an Uncle Sam chain of restaurants. And when that shut down, he moved to Danbury in 1971. He lived here for 10 years. And in 1981, he moved up to Lake George to a theme park called the Magic Forest. And he lived there for a long time until 2018. Now, 2018, Magic Forest closed down, sort of closed down. It changed the owners. It's now partially Magic Forest, partially some dinosaur exhibit. But when it changed, they used to have all this amazing fiberglass muffler menace, and they sold off Uncle Sam. And originally, when they were selling him off, the it was an auction, and they thought he was going to go to Troy, New York, because Troy, New York is actually the hometown of Uncle Sam. But the Danbury mayor was like, wait, we had this guy. We want him back. So they outbid Troy, New York. And now here he stands at the Danbury Railway Museum. Welcome back home, Uncle Sam. Meet me at Uncle Sam, spoken by patrons of the great Danbury State Fair. It was a common phrase during fair week. See, that's where he used to stand from 71 to 81 at the Danbury State Fair. But when that got defunct is when he was sold off. Uncle Sam, a symbol of American might and democracy comes home. He is the tallest Uncle Sam statue in the world and returns to Danbury standing as proud as he did at the fair from 71 to 81. His iconic fiberglass figure stands 38 feet tall thanks to Mayor Mark Bouton, Bouton? Bouton, dedicated city staff and area residents and businesses. Uncle Sam returns from decades in Lake George back to his forever home in Danbury. Restored by Robin Graphics 2019. There he is, the world's tallest Uncle Sam. Danbury, Connecticut. Our last of roadside giants of Connecticut. So there you have it. We started a muffler man. We also had the big giant Easter Island head, Santa Claus. And now Uncle Sam. Yep. Four roadside giants that you can find standing tall and proud here in Connecticut. So I think we can call it, Joy. I think so. Roadside giants here in Connecticut. Been, Been there, there, done that. that. Remember folks, safe travels. Good eats. And live life. I'm proud to be an American where I'm made of fiberglass as you can see.